In this Space Marine 2 video, we go over what in my opinion are the best settings to use for a console, both PlayStation and Xbox. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ. Now, thanks to Focus Entertainment, I have a couple of copies of the Ultra Edition version of Space Marine to give away. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So do you guys want to win the Ultra Edition of this game? Well, it's as simple as this. Drop a like on this video, make sure you are subbed and leave me a comment down below. The more I see you active on my Space Marine 2 videos, the more of a chance you have of winning. I'll pick winners from the comment section of my said videos and announce them before the game releases. So good luck, everybody. So having played the game now for about four days, I have tried and used multiple different settings that this game does offer. Now this is for console only, obviously PC settings will be massively different. But on console, although there's not a massive amount to select between, some changes I suggest today definitely made my playing experience a whole heap better. So getting into the settings guys, you'll first come to the game tab. Difficult would be in the first option, and this option is really down to you as a player. I selected normal for the campaign, going straight into the game, but in regards to operations, you can more or less change this on the fly, as the difficulty here within these operations changes the loot and XP outcome. So a system you may start off right away on easy, which is minimal, and then work your way up as you start leveling up your classes. The next section is one of the most important here and that is a performance mode. Now there are two options here on console, we have quality and speed. Now I won't lie to you, uh, although I played on quality at first, not bothering to change this, when switching it to that speed mode, the difference to me was just undeniable. The extra frames for me made a whole heap of difference and if I'm honest to you, although my eyes are old, in regards to gameplay graphics and quality supposedly lost when selecting that speed mode for those extra frames, I can't really tell you guys that I noticed much of a difference. The fluidity of those extra frames and what they offer in my opinion are 100% worth the fall in image quality if there's even much image quality here lost. Now what I will say is quality mode for me is 100% 30 frames per second and coming from playing Black Me Fu Kong on PC on high settings, my eyeballs felt like they were melting in my head. So here guys, I try speed first. If you do notice your game quality dropping too much, probably switch back to quality. Okay, so helmet visibility is all down to you. I mean, I like my helmet on. Some of the helmets you can get in this game, their customization unlocks are incredible. So yeah, I'm leaving my helmet on for now. Uh, onto display settings. Motion blur is always a no from me. On action games like this when so much is going on, I just can't deal with motion blur. Uh, but it is one that comes down to the player here. Now, as you come down these game settings, the rest of the options are really down to the user. I'm gutted there isn't a field of view slider here for this game because I really enjoy that to be honest. Sometimes uh, the classes you use do seem a little bit bulky and take up more than half your screen. So yeah, a field of view slider would have been greatly appreciated. Hopefully it's something they can incorporate onto console in the near future. Okay, so the next tab now is controls. Here on console, there are plenty of different controller layouts for you to choose from. Here, I won't lie, I had difficulty getting used to the grenade button being where my jump button normally is. I mean, when you get overwhelmed, which happens quite a lot in this game, and you ain't really thinking, you will likely press this button, uh, thinking you're playing another game, and you'll just drop a grenade right at your own feet. I've done this multiple times. Thankfully, grenades don't seem to hurt you as much as they, what they would on other games, but hey, you do waste your grenades more often than not. I do wish though on console you could map your own controller. Why is this not an option here? Again, hopefully one they add in in the future. The rest of these settings beside vibration, which is always a no for me, you should probably leave on default unless there are specific things here you like to change, like the toggle to sprint and so forth. Now the next tab is camera. Here guys, it is really all down to you. I feel like the default options here with look sensitivity on 10 are completely fine. But again, some people like to spin around in circles faster than they can even see. Some people like a real slow 360 turn. For me though, 10 just seemed like the perfect spot and I got used to it so quick. 
I did, however, change uh, the aim assist here. Uh, I put it on strong. I did this because I'm leveling up the sniper class at the moment and using that sniper under the hecticness of this game or what it is, is hard enough. So I thought I'd try and gain a little advantage over the enemy. Did it work? I actually can't say that I feel it did, to be honest with you. Now, in regards to camera shake, I selected not on weapons. Having it on was literally making me dizzy. With it off, it kind of felt like it took away from the gameplay. So I chose this option of not having it on weapons and it feels completely fine. Now, the other three tabs of audio interface and accessibility are really down to the user here. Audio massively depends on the headset you're using, if you're even using a headset here. I normally turn things down because of the Xbox and its crazy party chat system, always seemingly all over the place. But here with this game, it seems okay, I'm not gonna lie. Interface offers options that are specific to the user and what you wanna see. These I don't really feel you need to change. And lastly, we have accessibility. The only one I changed here was to toggle the social wheel activation. As I always struggled for some weird reason in having to hold down one button and move the analog at the same time to select that social animation or in other games, it's normally an emote. So yeah, this is probably just a me problem. It usually is. But other than that, guys, I don't feel anything here needs to be changed. I did try the automatic attention focus, but it was pulling my camera away from certain things at certain points, which was annoying the heck out of me. But yeah, guys, those are the console settings we have on both Xbox and PlayStation. Like I said, PC will massively differ in regards to what will be unavailable here, especially within those graphics and display tabs. Um, and obviously, guys, you're going to be able to map your own shit on PC too, which is a great bonus in my opinion. But other than that, guys, there isn't much to change here on console. What I will say is, going back to that performance mode, when I first selected that speed over that quality mode and actually tried loading into games, I had to actually reset my game. Like quit out the game on dashboard before it could actually load into a lobby, load into an operation, which is weird. And hopefully this is something they fix straight away. Again, it could be just a me problem, a problem with my Xbox, but it definitely was an issue I fix with resetting my console. So if you do have this issue, guys, when you eventually get the game, you know what you need to do. But there we have it, guys. My suggestions in the uh, settings you should use on console, both Xbox and PlayStation. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.